In this video, you will see the rescues of two stricken sailboats trying to outrun the Category 5 Hurricane Irma. And six people and one dog will be rescued thanks to the valiant efforts of the U.S. Coast Guard. In one of my earlier videos, I argued that the most important thing when preparing a boat for a hurricane is to not go to sea. Never ever go to sea uh, with a tropical storm forecast, certainly not a hurricane forecast. Two sailboat skippers thought differently and endangered the lives of Coast Guard personnel and their crews. During Hurricane Irma, both skippers lost their boats. Uh, last night around uh, 10 o'clock I was notified that we'd be launching uh, for a uh, disabled sailing vessel approximately 120 miles uh, west of Sarasota, Florida. We ended up launching a little bit after 11 o'clock last night local time and flew directly to the uh, last known position of the uh, disabled sailing boat which was uh, just in the uh, big beginning bands of Hurricane Irma. Uh, we arrived on scene, located the vessel and uh, we vectored a Coast Guard H-60 helicopter from Mobile on scene, um, and they were able to successfully hoist four survivors from that boat. After that case, we diverted to another disabled uh, sailing vessel, uh, approximately 100 miles south of Apalachicola, Florida, and a, uh, another, another H-60 crew uh, from Clearwater, which is forward deployed here to New Orleans, was uh, sent to that case. It was definitely one of the more difficult cases that I've been on. I got into the water and it was about a 40 knot wind with 20 to 25 foot seas, which were pretty big. I approached the vessel, took a little bit of work, but I climbed on board, I made sure everybody was safe and accounted for, and made sure there were no injuries, everybody had their prop proper flotation, and then one by one we jumped off the ship and I towed each survivor to safety. And then the, with the second survivor, we brought the dog with us. C-130 located us. Uh, helicopter, rescue diver, uh, rescue swimmer uh, swam, came down, swam, got us. We hopped in the water and he uh, took us individually uh, back to the helicopter and back here. And our little dog too. Uh, thank God for the Coast Guard. I spoke to Gary E. Brown, the editor of All at Sea magazine and a sailor for decades who has faced, among other things, Hurricane Lenny at sea. He explains why it is folly to try to outrun a hurricane in a sailboat that has a maximum hull speed of five to nine knots. What happens when you go to sea? Well, what happens is you start to run and the head of the storm, there's no wind, usually. So you can't sail, so you motor. The storm surge, the, the waves begin to pick up and there's still no wind and the fuel in your tanks gets thrown around, it can get dirty and you end up losing your engine. So now you've got no engine and no wind and the hurricane takes a kick north or south. You're right in its path, you can't move, you can't get out of it. You're now at the mercy of the elements. If you're still in the area, the chances are you're going to have to fight that hurricane at sea. So unless you're absolutely sure you have a big, well-fed crew, reliable engine, wind to sail to start with to get away at good speed, no good running at three or four knots. You need to be going at 10 knots, 15 knots to get out, get out of the, to guarantee that you'll get away from the hurricane's path. So, yeah, very risky, uh, and especially when people always leave it to the last minute because they don't know where the hurricane is going to go. So they hang around and they hang around. Two friends of mine went to see in a trawler uh, called Our Confidence, ahead of Lenny, um, and they uh, ended up off the St. Kitts with no engine and the boat picked up by a massive wave and turned around, but they did survive. But some people didn't.
Laboratory tests have shown that breaking waves that are a third the size of a boat's length overall can capsize a sailboat. That means a 40-foot sailboat could be capsized by a 14-foot breaking waves. And the Coast Guard said they saw 25 to 30-foot waves when they rescued the crews of these two boats. Lives come before property. The right moral and financial decision is to not go to sea with the name Storm. Your boat stands a better chance weathering the hurricane in port. Keep your crew safe and do your storm preparations on land. At Slowboat Sailing, we own an Island Packet 31 sailboat that we're sailing around the world part-time. The boat hails out of New Orleans, and last season we sailed to Cuba, Panama, across the equator. And this season, we're releasing episodes of our 3,500 nautical mile Pacific crossing, where we were struck by a whale mid-Pacific and lived to tell about it. We've traveled to the Marquesas, the two Motus, and Tahiti. In future seasons, we hope to continue west about the world, and we would love to have you join us on our journey. I'm the skipper of the slow boat, but I also sail with a crew that rotates, that includes my wife, my daughter, our four pound dog daily, and volunteer adventurers who want to sail the seven seas. Subscribe or check out our other videos here on YouTube. We also have a podcast that interviews the most interesting sailors in the world, and it's called the Slow Boat Sailing Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play for Android, and wherever you get your podcasts.